Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1621, the Mayflower departs for England after bringing 102 pilgrims to what became the American colony of Plymouth in what will become Massachusetts. In 1722, Dutch explorer Jacob Rogovine becomes the first European to see Easter Island. In 1764, the British Parliament passes the sugar tax on the American colonies. In 1768, in New York City, the first U.S. Chamber of Commerce is created. In 1792, George Washington issued the first presidential veto in United States history. In 1803, in Vienna, Ludwig von Beethoven conducts his new composition called Second Symphony in D. In 1806, Isaac Quintard patents apple cider. Yum! In 1815, Mount Tambora on the Dutch East Indies erupts after several centuries of being dormant. In 1856, American educator Booker T. Washington is born in Virginia. In 1862, the American Civil War Battle of Yorktown begins. In 1879, Chile declared war on Peru and Bolivia, beginning the War of the Pacific. In 1895, Oscar Wilde loses his libel case against the Marquess of Queensbury, who had accused him of homosexual practices. In 1900, American actor Spencer Tracy was born today. Also in 1900, archaeologists in Knossos, Greece, discover a large number of clay tablets with hieroglyphic writing in a script they later name Linear B. In 1902, in Glasgow, Scotland, the Ibrox disaster occurs after a section of a grandstand collapses, killing 25 people and injuring 517 more. In 1906, Italy's Mount Vesuvius erupts and devastates towns in the Naples province, killing more than 100 people. In 1908, American actress Betty Davis was born today. In 1919, the Polish army executes 35 young Jews today. Also in 1919, Antwerp is officially named the host city for the Games of the 7th Olympiad, which will be held next year. In 1922, the American Birth Control League, which is the forerunner of Planned Parenthood, is incorporated. In 1923, Firestone Tire and Rubber Company starts producing inflatable tires. In 1927, American swimmer Johnny Weismuller sets records in the 100 and the 200 meter freestyle. In 1934, baseball superstar Babe Ruth agrees to do three 15 minute broadcasts a week for NBC. He gets paid more than he did playing baseball. In 1936, an F5 tornado kills 233 people in Tupelo, Mississippi, and destroys the town. In 1937, future U.S. general and politician Colin Powell is born today. In 1939, in Germany, membership in the Hitler Youth becomes required. In 1943, during World War II, American aircraft missed the target by one mile and caused more than 900 civilian deaths, including 209 children, and wound 1,300 more in the Belgian town of Morsel. Also in 1943, Poon Lim of China is found off the coast of Brazil after being adrift for 133 days when the ship he was on was torpedoed by a German U-boat. In 1944, 270 inhabitants of the Greek town of Klyasora are executed by the Germans. In 1946, Soviet troops leave the island of Bornholm, Denmark after an 11-month occupation. In 1948, well-known TV channel WGN in Chicago, Illinois begins broadcasting. In 1949, a hospital fire in Effingham, Illinois kills 77 people and leads to nationwide fire code improvements in the United States. Also in 1949, Fireside Theater debuts on U.S. television. In 1951, Ethel and Julius Rosenberg are sentenced to death for being Russian spies. Sadly, it was later learned that Ethel probably had nothing to do with her husband's activities. Also in 1951, A Place in the Sun starring Montgomery Clift, Elizabeth Taylor, and Shelley Winters premieres at the Cannes Film Festival in France. In 1955, after an illustrious career, Winston Churchill resigns as the British Prime Minister. In 1956, Fidel Castro declares himself at war with the President of Cuba. 
Guess Who Lost the War? In 1962, NASA civilian pilot Neil Armstrong flies the X-15 to 54,600 meters or about 180,000 feet. Also in 1962, Swiss and Italian workers see each other and shake hands after months of working on, and today finishing, the St. Bernard Tunnel. In 1965, at the 37th Academy Awards, My Fair Lady, Rex Harrison, and Julie Andrews win. In 1969, massive anti-Vietnam War demonstrations occur across the United States. In 1971, Mount Etna erupts in Sicily. In 1973, the NFL adopts their jersey numbering system. Also in 1973, Pioneer 11 is launched and begins its lonely journey to Jupiter. In 1975, American Chris Evert beats Martina Navratilova and wins her third WTA Tour Championship. In 1976, American businessman Howard Hughes passes away today. Also in 1976, in the People's Republic of China, the April 5th Movement leads to the Tiananmen Incident. In 1982, 43-year-old St. Louis relief pitcher Jim Catt pitches one inning for the Cardinals in the season opener and sets a MLB pitcher record by playing in his 24th consecutive season. In 1984, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar overtakes Wilt Chamberlain as the all-time leading scorer in the National Basketball Association. In 1986, the Libyan Secret Service set a bomb in a West Berlin nightclub. Three people are killed, but the Libyans were hoping to kill many U.S. soldiers. In 1987, the Fox TV network premieres tonight and premieres two new shows, Married with Children and The Tracy Ullman Show. It won't be too long now until we see The Simpsons. In 1989, NBC's Late Night with David Letterman becomes the first network TV show to broadcast in Dolby Stereo. Amazing that didn't happen until 1989. In 1990, Paul Newman wins a court victory over Julius Gold and keeps giving all profits from Newman Foods to charity. In 1991, Kitty Kelly publishes an unauthorized biography of former U.S. First Lady Nancy Reagan. In 1992, several hundred thousand abortion rights demonstrators march in Washington, D.C. In 1993, construction begins on Cleveland's Rock and Roll Hall of Fame Museum that we talk about often here on my channel. In 1994, American singer-songwriter and Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain commits suicide today at the age of 27. Also in 1994, Jackie Mason, politically incorrect, opens at the Golden Theater in New York City and runs for 347 performances. In 1995, in broad daylight, pages of the Codex Argentius, the oldest text in the Gothic language, is stolen from the Uppsala University Library in Sweden. Blimey! In 1997, Steve Irwin's The Crocodile Hunter debuts. In 1998, the world's longest suspension bridge opens to traffic. It is in Japan. Also in 1998, the Arizona Diamondbacks record their first win in team history. In 1999, two Libyans suspected of bringing down Pan Am Flight 103 in 1988 are handed over to the Netherlands for trial. In 2005, the Washington Nationals play their first game today and become the first baseball club to represent the nation's capital since the Senators left after the 1971 season. In 2008, American actor Charlton Heston dies today at 84 years old. In 2009, at the 44th Academy of Country Music Awards, Carrie Underwood and Brad Paisley win. In 2010, 29 coal miners are killed in an explosion at the Upper Big Branch Mine in West Virginia. In 2013, 60 people are killed in Nigeria after a bus collides with an oil tanker. In 2014, Minnesota Twins manager Ron Gardenhire earns his career 1,000th win as the Twins score a 7-3 victory over the Cleveland Indians. In 2015, Rolling Stone magazine retracts its rape on campus story regarding a gang rape at the University of Virginia after the allegation is totally discredited. In 2016, PayPal announces it is canceling a $3.6 million investment in North Carolina after the state passes anti-gay legislation. Also in 2016, Drake releases his single One Dance and it becomes the Billboard Song of the Year for 2016. 
In 2020, British monarch Queen Elizabeth II makes an address to the nation for only the fifth time in her 66-year reign. I find that amazing. Also in 2020 and in Britain, Prime Minister Boris Johnson is admitted to the hospital due to COVID-19. In 2021, India records over 100,000 new daily COVID-19 cases for the first time. And in a fun peek forward, today in 2063 will be the first time humans have contact with Vulcans in the Star Trek universe. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I've got tons more out there, a whole bunch more coming. Today is actually a day that I'm working on a bunch of them for you. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and I'll talk to you tomorrow.